Alrighty, guys. So we have some news to talk about. And the news is that Di Maria has agreed a move to Inter Miami. This is crazy because Di Maria and Messi are going to be potentially reunited. Now, this is just kind of at a really early stage right now. There's nothing too crazy with this. Um, but this is wild because Messi obviously made a move to Inter Miami. They are top of the league. They did lose last night, the day I'm recording this video, to Atlanta United. I think it was 3-1. So they got cooked. Messi had a goal, but they lost. But they're playing phenomenal this season. Um, this is really kind of the first full season. Messi obviously joined in last season and then had to kind of bring them out of the let's just say it how it is, the bottom of the table. Um, and now they're top of the table. They're one of the most prolific high-scoring teams in the MLS. We went through it on a video recently that we kind of looked through how they were doing as a team. They're incredible. Um, and now Di Maria has been linked to potentially go there. His contract runs out with Benfica. He's going to be, uh, I think, on a free free agent situation this summer. Um, Busquets has gone to Inter-Miami. Suarez has gone to Inter-Miami. Jordi Alba has gone to Inter-Miami. And now Di Maria looks up next. Inter-Miami is becoming the retirement home for some of football's greatest players. And not only is it a retirement home, they're first in the MLS. So showing their levels. I mean, people like to make fun of the MLS. But look, it's not easy to to do that and just be number one in the, in the in any league, but let alone the MLS, which I think is probably in that range of a top 20 league for sure. It's obviously not top five or a top 10 league but it's somewhere in that middle ground right there um so yeah he's agreed to a move Messi and Di Maria have played 137 matches together um across three different squads I believe um I know for the club level obviously it was PSG and then Argentina um they have a very very successful um uh, track record together, you could say. I think the third team potentially... I don't know what the third team is, though, that they played against. It might be like an Olympic team, and that's why it's counting it as a separate. It could be that. Um, they they have they have done incredible together. Eight goals by Lionel Messi, assisted by Di Maria. Seven goals by Di Maria, assisted by Messi. Um, you know, obviously, they won the World Cup together. Um, they won the Copa America together quite recently. Um, they didn't go to the length they thought they would together at PSG. Um, but they will be reunited in a uh, in another uh, situation at the club level. And this also is kind of telling to me that a lot of people have been questioning what's Messi going to do towards the end of his career. Is he going to stay into Miami? What's he going to really do uh, towards the end? It looks like he's kind of happy there. It looks like his family's happy in Miami. Um, I, you know, I can't blame him. It seems like a very good situation. I think a lot of people have been rumoring, is Messi going to retire in Argentina? What's he going to do? I think Messi may end up staying in uh, in, in Miami. I think he's got a really good situation uh, with Beckham running the club, with some of his ex-teammates playing there, and they're all playing very well. So I think Di Maria, uh, it's very interesting to him. The problem with Di Maria, the realistic situation with Di Maria, is that the MLS has a lot of weird stuff with financials and international players. It's it's a little different than other leagues the way they do it. So I'm gonna hear I'm gonna be here to talk to you a little bit about it. Um so basically Di Maria is gonna be an unrestricted free agent uh after participating with Argentina and Copa America. No one knows for sure what his odds or where he's gonna go in the future. Um so uh this is also they've never been together at the club level. I don't know what that means because they played against they played with each other at PSG. I don't know what that means. It's important to remember that the Argentine wing is currently a member of Benfica in Portugal. Uh if Di Marie wants to help Messi, the key factor would be accepting a huge salary reduction, which seems very unlikely. I wouldn't seem as I wouldn't say that seems very unlikely. Um that is what's gonna have to happen, despite this perhaps the desire to play alongside his great friend could convince him to compromise on his financial uh demands. This is what I want to talk about with you guys, which I thought was really interesting. I found an article that Di Maria basically said, um, listen to this quote. The best thing that happened in my career is that I played with Leo Messi in the national team and club. I participated with him for a year in the club and I didn't play. I knew that if he came, I would not play much. That's what he said about Messi going to PSG. It's crazy. I told my wife and Paredes that I would not play anymore, but to be with him for a year and train with him for a year and see him every day is the best thing that will happen to me. I think this is the most important thing. Bro, what a what, what a friend, bro. What like what a guy. D that saying that public quotes. By the way, Di Maria is one of the clutchest players of all time in the huge moments, bro. He 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 had one of the craziest goals in that Copa America final. He's always there. He's always turning it up, man. In the recent in the recent large matches in his career, he's been going crazy. In the in the ones when he had to rise the most, he's been going crazy, bro. Um, and so for him to say that Di Maria is one of the most technically gifted. Uh, players of all time. Seriously, he's he's a hell of a player. I think he's underrated. Um, 
the attacking duo or part of a PSG side that won the league one title in 21 to 22. Messi bagged six goals and 15 assists in 26 matches, while Di Maria had five goals and eight assists. Yeah, on limited playing time as well. The former Real Madrid winger left the Parc de Prince last summer and joined Serie A Giants Juventus. It did not really work out for Di Maria at Juventus. So now he's obviously uh, with Benfica. Um, Argentina went on to win the World Cup. Lionel Messi has now followed Di Maria out of the Exodor as he has left uh, Paris and joined Inter Miami. However, both are still a part of the PSG national team. So this last point from MLS Moves, a Twitter account. It's got a lot of traction on Twitter. Di Maria's idea is to play for six months at Rosario Central, which is an Argentine team. His wife and daughters will not re return to Argentina with the player. As soon as they leave Portugal, they will move to Miami. So Rosario, I believe, is where Di Maria originally started playing. In January 2025, he plans to sign with Inter Miami to play alongside his friend Leo Messi. Now, this plan on paper seems likely and seems like it's going to happen or could happen, rather. The problem with this plan is this, and this is a very sad situation right now with Di Maria. I saw this today, which is like, it's really sad. So Di Maria um, has had a death, like a threat from Rosario Central. They shot up a service station in Rosario and left a sign that says, we are waiting for you, Di Maria, with the signature of Los... Don't know how to pronounce that. But, bro, I mean, how sad is this? He wants to return to his boyhood club. He's done everything for Argentina on the national team level. Everything, bro. He's been one of the greatest Argentine players ever, man, to go out there in the club world as well. And this is what he has to return to if he wants to go back to Rosario Central. He's got to deal with this. This is not peace of mind at all. How like He's going to return to Argentina. He wants to end his career uh, you know, on like a farewell tour. And this is what he's going to get. So this is where the question mark is, is that is he even going to return there now with all of this going on? Now, obviously, the MLS Moves Twitter was saying, hey, you know, um, he's got this plan where he's going to go until January. Um, his family's not going to go to, to Argentina. He's just going to go play there. But I, that, you know, with that going on, with that type of level of threat happening, I, I have question marks if that's even going to happen. Um, if he might just go straight to Inter Miami, that that's the question mark that I have. Um, very sad. Now, you know, we'll see what comes of all of that. Obviously this news will be probably, we'll, we'll be figuring out this news during the summer. A lot of times this club stuff happens the moves, the transfers happens during these tournaments, which is very interesting. The MLS has a really weird rule. In 2024, a total of 233 international roster slots are divided among the 29 clubs. Three rosters, these roster slots are tradable in full season increments such that some clubs may have more than eight and some clubs may have less than eight during any given season. With trades, there's no limit on the number of international roster slots on each club's roster. The MLS is very tight and weird with a lot of these rules. They have many rules like this. There's a lot. What I will say is this. A lot of people have been going on Twitter and critiquing this idea of Messi and Di Maria playing together, and it's not possible. There has to be pay cut. They have to get through all the MLS rules. I'll tell you this. The MLS is smart, right? They don't deal with Messi and Apple TV and all this, and they're making more money than ever, right? The fact that people believe that, okay, the MLS isn't going to figure out a way to get Di Maria into the league is crazy to me. I'm like, guys, this is a business, bro. At the end of the day, they will make it happen. Um, they will make it happen. If it's meant to be and Di Maria says, hey, I'm going to take the pay cut, the rest will solve itself out. I'm telling you right now because this at the end of the day is going to be crazy for business for the league. So we'll see if this happens. Will Messi and Di Maria reunite? I sure hope so. I, I've loved watching them play. I, I really love Di Maria as a player. So for him to come play in the U.S. at the end of his career would be awesome to see. Um, it will be very interesting to see, like, you know, Messi, Di Maria is still such a huge part of the Argentine national team. Will they continue to thrive? And these guys are chilling in the MLS. I almost dropped my mic, but that's crazy. They're chilling in the MLS, and they still go out for the national team and turn it up. People don't understand how hard that is to do. So we'll see how it goes, guys. Let me know what you guys think um, about all this. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you in another video, another breakdown soon. Peace.